This is the digestive and respiratory systems of the cat on page 26 of your lab manual. We will begin with the salivary glands. Here is the parotid. Here is the submaxillary. Here is the sublingual. And here is the molar. The humans are the only ones that have the submandibular. The tongue and teeth will be on diagrams, hard palate, soft palate, and pharynx, and the pharyngeotympanic tubes will also be on diagrams. Next is the esophagus. The esophagus always lies behind the trachea. This would be the esophagus. Next would be the abdominal cavity. Visceral and parietal peritoneum will be either definition or on diagrams. Mesenteries, here on the outside of the, the greater curvature of the stomach is the greater omentum. The omental bursa of the greater omentum is like a sac that the greater omentum makes. It's a space in between each side of the mesentery. If you pull this apart, there will be a space in there. It's like a purse for all of the organs. Between the stomach and the spleen, spleen, stomach, is the gastrosplenic splenic ligament. The lesser omentum is on another cap. Up here, in the lesser curvature of the stomach. There you have the gastrohepatic and the hepatoduodenal ligaments. If you think of the names, gastrohepatic would be between the stomach and the liver. Hepatoduodenal would be between the liver and the duodenum, here. Moving back to the other cat, you have the mesoduodenum. This is the duodenum of the cat. This would be the mesoduodenum. The duodenum is the first loop of the small intestine. Then you have three ligaments in between the liver lobes and the diaphragm. The first ligament here, this white color, is the round ligament, and then it goes to a clear color. That is your falciform ligament, and then you go back further, way down here, all of that is coronary ligament. Following the list of terms in your lab manual, you have your mesocolon. Your, mes your colon is also your large intestine. All of this is colon. Mesocolon would be what holds the mesentery between the colon to the, abdomen the body cavity here. Going to the other side of the terms, we'll go to stomach. Here is your stomach. On the stomach, you have a fundus. Which is the top portion of the stomach. A body. And a pylorus, which is down here. Inside the stomach, you have what's called rugae. It's the rough, ripply material you see inside the stomach. You have a pyloric sphincter, which is between the pylorus and the duodenum here. You have a cardiac sphincter, which is up here at the top of the stomach. Between the esophagus and the fundus of the stomach. Next is the small intestines. You cannot see the plique circularis in the cat. It would be a diagram. We go from the duodenum, which connects from the stomach, and is the first loop of the intestinal tract. Then you have the jejunum, which is all this fun stuff. It's all the middle, curly. And then the ileum. Ileum connects from the small intestine to the large intestine. Then we would move to the large intestine, which is also known as the colon. You do not need to know the temporary folds. The ileocecal valve would be here between this little notch here and this, the ileum. Then you have your cecum, which is that little notch right there. 
Then, if you spread the colon like this, you have three different areas. You have ascending colon, transversus, and descending. It kind of makes a cockeyed H. You start with ascending going up, transversus going across, descending going down. And it all goes down into the rectum. Next is the litter, liver. The liver has many lobes. It's not just one cohesive organ. In between one of the lobes is what is called the gall gallbladder. It's not normally green in your body, but from the blue dye in the blood vessels, it turns green, so that's how you can learn to identify it. The hepatic duct comes off of the liver here. It's a vessel. Then you have your cystic duct, which comes off of the gallbladder. When the hepatic duct and the cystic duct converge, it forms the common bile duct. Your superior mesenteric vein, you should remember this from the previous labs, is here. I'm sorry, that's your artery. Vein would be right next to it, it's not dyed. Very hard to see, probably on a diagram. Your hepatic portal vein would be in the mesoduodenum, which we said was here. Oh, right here. Which would be right here. The portal system is another name for the hepatic. Is another name for the hepatic. It'll be in diagrams. The pancreas. It's very hard to see the pancreas because it's mixed in to your uh, mesenteries, but if you look in the mesoduodenum, you can see it's clear here and then a darker material here. All of the darker material is up here. That's the pancreas. Yes, the pancreas. In the pancreas, you have a pancreatic duct and the ampulla of Vader. They would be on diagrams because it's very difficult to see. The ampulla of Vader is the convergence of the common bile duct and the pancreatic duct on the duodenum. Next would be the spleen. The spleen is next to the stomach in the greater omentum. And it's this long, oddly shaped organ here. Then we would move to the respiratory system. The nose obviously is there. The nasal concha will be in a diagram as long as well as the internal nares. The pharynx will also be in a diagram. We will move then to the larynx. This box here is the larynx. On top of the larynx, this large inverted V would be known as the thyroid cartilage. Beneath it is another band that's a different texture than the trachea. That is your coracoid cartilage. Inside the larynx, you have an object that looks kind of like a tongue. That's known as your epiglottis. The vocal cords will be in a diagram. This is your trachea. It lies over top of the esophagus. Then you have your bronchus, bronchus or bronchii in your lab manual. It comes from the heart, these little vessels here into the lungs when the lung from the trachea into the lungs. from the trachea into the lungs the one of the love lungs has been removed the diaphragm is this here it separates the thoracic from the abdominal cavity all this is diaphragm the thymus gland in thyroid will be the thymus gland is removed, it lies over top of the heart, they will be in diagrams. The thyroid, you cannot see a diagram. The uvula. Cats the, do not have a uvula. Cats don't have a uvula, humans do. It will be in a diagram as, long, as well as the pleura visceral, parietal, and mediastinum.